Hi, this is Captain Rob again from Chowd Air. Uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to actually program the Stream Deck to be able to control certain aspects of your aircraft. So I've opened up the 412 here. I've done most of the programming, but uh, in one of my other videos, I point out that I don't have the front doors mapped uh, to be able to open and close. Uh, and so if I look at the, the back doors, here I could just press one button and uh, the rear doors will open and press the other button and they will open on the other side. Uh, but let's take a look at actually how to program the front doors. <clears throat> so first of all, let's look at the rear doors and see what controls we actually have. And if you look, we're doing uh, operations on the sliders. Uh, and there's a number of sliders inside the data refs. And for some reason, uh, I've found in most helicopters, uh, people have actually mapped the sliders to control the doors. So despite the fact doors are not really sliding, except for the back doors in this case, um, it's a very common tool. So that's just kind of a freebie I can give you to, if you're looking at other helicopters, first place to look for door controls is the sliders. So if I look here at the the right doors, I can see that there's sliders uh, 0, 4, and 0, 2. And if I look at the other door, it's 0, 3, and 0, 1. So my guess is that the pilot door is probably going to be 0, 5, because that would be the next one available to us. So in the Stream Deck controls on the right, you'll see there's a text option, uh, which is system text. You can actually see that written here. And this is what we're using to control all of these different uh, aspects. So I just drag the text into these two areas. And then what I'll do, uh, just to make it easier, I'm just going to copy and paste here. So these are commands. There's two different types of, uh, of data refs available to you, straight up data refs and then commands. And we'll see this more in a few seconds. And I'll just paste this in here and change this to 05. And then I uh, check the box to say press enter after the message. And here I'll put uh, pilot door on here. And then you can actually control the, the font uh, and the placements. So I can just, uh, I'll set that to uh, even it out uh, in the button. And then we'll give this a try. So if I hit the pilot door button, lo and behold, that is the right slider for that. Okay. And so I can go ahead and do the same thing for the other one. So here I'll choose number six. And this would be the co-pilot door. And then I will take this text and I will just center that back up. And then the other thing we could do is I've created a bunch of uh, preset icons. So I will just load this up. Let me just string this over so you can see. So I've got a, uh, what would this be, right uh, front door. Actually, that's the co-pilot, so that would be the left front door. Uh, left front door. And I will go here and I'll set this to be the right door. Let me just drag this back on the screen again. So this is the right front door. And so that's an easy way to assign those. Again, if I just go and test them, pilot door, co-pilot door. Yep, they're both working pretty well. All right, so how do we find these data refs that we'd like to control? So if I come over here to X-Plane, I have a plugin, a third-party plugin called Data Ref Tool. And if I open that up, it allows me to see the two types of data refs that we have available. Uh, ones that we have to um, assign ourselves to before we can set, and then commands, which are usually one-click operations. And so if I hit this button down in the bottom corner, I can click it until I can see both commands and data refs. And if you're lucky enough to have an aircraft like this, uh, the developer has actually gone through and created a whole bunch of these data refs uh, to go with the model, and they are all uh, labeled. Uh, so in this case, they're labeled 412. So if I go down here and just put in 412 in the search bar, this will then just you know narrow my results down to uh, things just for this helicopter. So there's all kinds of different controls here for autopilots and different buttons and controlling the winch and all that kind of stuff. It's fantastic. And so sometimes it'd be very simple to figure out what's happening just by, you know, sorting up and down and reading uh, the items. And sometimes it's not quite as, uh, as easy to understand as you would expect. So uh, I talked about the sliders before. If I were to look at the sliders available here, you can see a whole bunch of them. And so sometimes the easiest way to determine which one is which door is if I uh, click on this other little button here, the CH button, that will show me things that have been recently used. So if I were to open up that door again, you'll see that uh, it's suddenly shown up here in this, uh, most of these uh, turn blue, although this is a push button, so it's kind of staying green, but anything that I recently have touched will show up if, I, if I'm sorting by this uh, little uh, button down here, the CH button. 
Okay, so that's an easy way to help track down uh, diff different information uh, depending on what you would like to control. Another option might be that the developer of certain aircraft may actually give a reference uh, file in the aircraft that you can use to start to control things with. So I've recently purchased the Sikorsky S92, and if I look in the quick reference guide that came with it, you'll see that the cabin door can be opened using the flaps command. So I would go through here and narrow down where the flaps command is and be able to use that. Same thing with the cargo ramp. It's the canopy command. So again, I could uh, go down here and search for these specific ones and put them to use. Uh, likewise, the, the new 500, Hughes 500D came out and you can see here that in their, uh, their documentation, they say the doors for the helicopter can also be removed. So slider seven removes the front doors and toggling the brakes on or off removes all four doors. So that's something else I was able to look through the documentation and map um, just using the stream deck controls. So I hope that helps. Uh, it's not always easy, but it's very rewarding when you can uh, get it all to work. I hope you'll be inspired to create some of your own aircraft and maybe share the files back as I'm doing with you now. Thanks for watching.